Going over the trades for the last day of November 2020, we didn't do our daily updates much last week, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Those were holiday shortened sessions, so not many trades. Uh, today is Monday, November the 30th, and tomorrow starts the last month. The 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time session start has already started, actually. So let's go over the trades for November the 30th. We'll go over the portfolio calculator next. I have the updated results here. Working on these portfolios, the preliminary portfolios for 2021, and you can see the list here. I'm going to add the others as well, working on those, and it takes a little bit of time. Spent a lot of time looking at data and charts over the holiday weekend, um, and so that's where I'm at, and I'll go over that in a minute. Mirror down on the session, and you see here minus 525. Gapville Master down, minus 525. These two strategies have lost recently, but they're not doing terrible. They have normal drawdowns, and you're, you suffer from recency bias. What I did was I spent a lot of time looking at this portfolio calculator, looking at each strategy in the drawdown curve and where it is, and so I still like these two strategies. Uh, after hours, ES, this is carrying forward from this time over here because we didn't get this uh, reset at this time because this wasn't uh, 1700, it was 1315 the time, and so there was no trades here actually, but the last trade you see here was on November the 27th where it closed out this trade, and that was last week, and let's go over um, Night Trader, 10 winners in a row, that's the highlight. Got out, carried this over the holiday weekend for several days, so it kind of can kind of make you nervous. Up and down, it almost hit its profit target, then it sold off, and then it rallied. It almost hit its profit target again, and sold off on Friday, and then Sunday night it opened. Gap up, hit its profit target, sold off, got in again, and up and down, back and forth, and 10 winners in a row on Night Trader, recovering from its drawdown pretty well. We talked about that in an earlier video today. Um, let's see, 60 minute breakout short, one winner, one loser on the day, adaptive moving average, uh, went long, reversed to the short, just one of those V days again, the market likes to, likes to make these V days, market gap down continued in reverse, and I have that new strategy, gap continuation in reverse, I want to show you, it is right here, it did well, caught the reversal trade, if you have the all strategy access, you have this in the beta. And so up a thousand on the day on the gap down, continue in reverse. It doesn't pick the bottom, but it gets that reversal move. So good trade on that. Uh, AT 2019 got short, small profit plus 75. Um, Cobra 3, even the SP, the profit target version hit its profit target. This one did not have the profit target on it, minus 625. The profit target versions are in the optional, but they will be in our new portfolios, but they're in the optional workspace. Let's see right here. You see this is Night Trader VSD. Uh, Cobra 3, profit target here. Hit its profit target on Cobra 3, E-mini S&P, $600 profit target. The profit target on Cobra 3 and Q, it did not hit its profit target. Uh, market reversed on that, went straight down, then straight up. Adaptive moving average 2020, breakout short ES. That's a, these are different variations. There's Night Trader, VSD. It did not have the same trades. It did not trade as much. It's, it trades less frequently. Um, NQ, meaning NASDAQ, AT2020, sh scratch trade, minus 25. Tick count trend in Q2020, minus 50, one winner, one loser. Tick pulse V12, minus 625, one loser. Cobra 3, uh, shorted, market reversed right then. Uh, once again, painting that V uh, gap continuation 2019. Market just will not continue on the downside. And you see that here. Uh, eventually it will. Um, plus 475 on stock index wing. It did capture that short profit target. So that was a good trade there. 60 minute breakout. Stopped out there. And gold. Gold has had a nice uh, set of winners lately on the SR counter trend. Short there, short there. Um, and so SR counter trends seem to be coming back around a little bit, signs that they're recovering, which would be good. Um, all these V price movements are, have been extreme, and uh, maybe we'll get back to some more normal trading. And you see in the commodity, the SR counter trends in the commodities are um, a, a little more stable. Um, and so you see that three trades today on SR counter trend, two V2, M1, M5, M, and 15, M. SR counter trend three. Um, captured its profit or end of day exit, not a profit target. And then SR Counter Trend 
three gold A is still in the trade. This one holds overnight. And let's see what else. Um, no trades, no other trades on gold, silver. SR counter trend minus, 20, minus 725, SR counter trend 2, V2M, 1M. And then SR counter trend 2, silver plus 50. Uh, crude oil, Cobra crude, small profit on the day plus 265, Cobra crude aggressive. Then beta B, um, VSD uh, capturing some nice trades here. Um, it carried, it you had to put in an end of day exit here, um, but it carried this position over the, it would have carried it over the uh, weekend and then again up today, up 1600 or so today. Uh, if you got in on that, you'd have to do that, uh, turn the status off and on for that end of day exit because there was an early exit. I'll probably put the don't trade on holiday function in here so it won't be carrying trades. We won't have to have, we we'll, won't have to worry about special exits on holiday shortened sessions. Just don't trade them. EVB2 gold. Down on the day, minus 525. Uh, tick fader, minus 625. EVP1 NQ, this was the trade of the day, plus 3405. It captured that reversal trade really well on that reversal surge. Nice trade on EVP. It's, it's, uh, we released this and it's kind of struggled. So let's pull up that chart. So it kind of went flat line down. And now you see this up move right here in the equity curve based on today's trade. Uh, the C, uh, gap continuation in reverse, nice trade here, 60-minute um, breakout B version was stopped out, and you get VSD, even the S&P was up 200 on the day, PR breakout in Q, that's, uh, that's from Friday's trade, or last week's trade, that's what, that's, that's what you see when you don't have the don't trade on holiday function in your strategy, some of these, some of the times this will carry over, uh, the daily P&L will carry over because uh, you're used to exiting at 1600 and it, the session ends at 1215 so it carries that trade over in the daily PL. It's not as accurate on holidays if you don't have that for day trade strategies. And so soybeans, grains day trader three, down on the day minus 375, euro up on the day plus 456.25, natural gas, no trades, Arbob, no trades, and here's some of the old uh, setups that we have also. So let's pull up the po portfolio calculator. Um, here is the All78 All Strategy Access that we are preliminarily uh, releasing now. And we've released on no on November the 24th. It is it ended up down 8,100 on the month, uh, but very consistent throughout the year. The pri pri prior last losing month was uh, July of 2019. And so uh, it typically has a strong December. It's had a strong year so far, hypothetically speaking, using a lot of these new strategies, trying to sync up with the current market patterns. Um, and so we'll watch this and see how it performs in December. To give us more confidence, you can start trading it. It did make this drawdown here. And then it's, uh, you know, as volatility increases, but you still see sharp recoveries. The width of drawdowns are still pretty narrow, at least back until... Uh, this time frame right here, which was, is that 2011 or 2012? This low right here really was in 2012, June of 2012. So eight years, last eight years, pretty quick recoveries. Let's look at um, the 200K portfolio 2021. It is using the regular night trader. It is down 1254.50. It was up today. And so if you want to rotate to the VSD version, it has a steeper drawdown. Night Trader VSD, um, and so it had a, hypothetically it had an up month, and so these are new releases. The old portfolios are right here. They struggled the last few months, and so we're transitioning. Some of the All Strategy Access 77, for example, gave back gains since June. We released it in June. It, it was up, and then it gave back the gains, and so now we are trying to resync with the current market environment, looking at what's working now and what has worked in the past. We don't have a different 25k 50k portfolio this is the same portfolio it's made a new worst case drawdown by about three thousand dollars and it's 10 strategies down nine thousand in october plus 46 10 in november and you see up fifty three thousand on the year i uh, don't like to make too many changes you know we have higher volatility night trader struggled night trader looks like it's coming back so maybe we'll just leave it right here um, and not try to perfect it 
Um, still looking at the best way to do that. Micro stock index in gold. Uh, 35 strategies instead of 52. And you see um, a long list of the new strategies as well. And so uh, it ended the month on an equity peak, uh, 1637.50. And let's look at the old ones so we can compare. Uh, if you can look at the old old portfolios to compare where we are. We're not uh, washing those away. We're keeping those in mind and how to transition into those. So this is what we were trading. And it made a worst case drawdown by more than two. And it ended up down 27.48. So, you know, from June through here, the sum of that is 39.52.50. So if you traded it since June, this set of strategies this June, you're up 39.52.50. And then you transition to the new portfolio. So it's been strong. Uh, stock indexes in gold have been strong. And so you see this worst case drawdown on the old portfolio. And that's where we're transitioning to this newer portfolio with less strategies. We're cutting some of the lo some of the losers and incorporating some of the winners. A little more aggressive than what we're doing with the 200K portfolio where we're only removing three and adding three new ones. So this new micro stock index portfolio is a little bit more aggressive and that we're adding, we're cutting more, more of the losing strategies and adding more of the winning strategies. And you see uh, 3326 is the drawdown. And so you can, you can, um, you know, use that as your risk and then compound. You could start with one micro. For example, if you started with one micro here and every time you were up 25000 you could uh, add another micro. So if it takes $25,000 to trade this portfolio, then um, when you get, it takes about six months through, through this time frame here to add another uh, contract. Somewhere in here, you're adding another contract after you're up 25000 So you start with 25000 you're at 50000 you trade two units, and so you double this. And so three months into that, you are up. You're up another 30000 So then now you're trading three contracts. And so you get to here, and then maybe you're trading four, con four micros as you go into December. Um, and that's one way you can compound it and really maximize those gains and try to boost that. This is a really – this is hypothetical results. These are new systems, and so things can – Things can, um, strategies can underperform and degrade as we go forward in time, but you can also scale down uh, quicker and scale up quicker with micros, even though their slippage and commission is not as efficient. So that's the update on the portfolio results through November the 30th, 2020.